hello everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Anjua. This is going to be a haul video where I have seven fragrances. None of them is a feel. I love them all. Four of them I got from my own pocket and three were sent to me from a brand. And I want to talk about that as well as address some few things. Some comments I've, I've had in the last you know, couple of days that has been bothering me for a while. I don't want to mention this particular person's name. I've told him or her that the next time I see his or her comments, I want her to see that no video. I want her to see today's video. That is why I've not blocked her or him yet. But as soon as I get the next comment from her or him, I'm blocking whoever it is. I'm tired of people being critical about, you know, people's opinion. Fragrance review is all about opinion, which is very subjective. But people are always, you know, emotionally attached to these fragrances that we talk about for what i guess spoke about zimaya how pink smelling cheap to me and this person was like i'm being bitter about the whole thing because zimaya never paid me to speak about that fragrance to promote it and i'm like does it even make sense like what you're saying no like does it even make sense to you if i'm a content creator or an influencer and a brand sends me products to you know to promote and i lie and tell you my audience that it's a good thing only for them to buy out of pocket whilst i receive it for free and it's not good does it even make sense or you want an honest person who, who will tell you the truth about how they feel not what they they assume or but what they feel based on their experience and using the particular products you know and i don't know i've been attacked in the past with my hair my diction my accent i don't know it's been quite personal and let me say this no brand ever since i started my youtube channel has paid me to do anything it just recently that i have received a few things here and there and this particular haul includes three fragrances i received from a brand you know and i, I will speak about that you know in the course of the video but I have always bought every single fragrance out of pocket until I got monetized like a year ago where I received just some little money here and there to cushion me to be able to afford the fragrances without buying them out of pocket currently. The last money I made on YouTube, I think two, three days ago, I saw the, you know, the credit alert was like $401, $401. And that is the only money I make out of you know youtube on adsense and it's the same money i used to you know run this channel by buying fragrances nothing else i don't come here requesting for people to send me things i would love to receive pr i would love to do that you know at least to cushion you as a content creator to boost you let you know that you're doing something right people are recognizing you i would love to receive all that but i didn't start my channel because I, I was looking forward to receiving that, you know. I told myself whether I was going to receive anything or not. I, I started this thing out of pocket. So I might as well just continue. And I'm not complaining to anybody that I can't sustain this channel. I've never complained to anybody. I have my own thing doing. I don't come to YouTube tell people what I do specifically for money. And I don't need to. I've never come... To youtube i think the only thing i've mentioned is the fact that i sell you know um bath and body works um uh, victoria secrets products body mace soap whatever you know anything to do with bath and body works and victoria secret candles whatever but i've never told anyone on this channel what and what generates money for me and i don't have to so i don't know why people are so like i'm not trying to make like money money out of youtube because if that is what i'm trying to do I'm not getting anything. The last money I received was 401 from AdSense. And if I'm buying fragrances, for example, in this haul, it includes this one, Liquid Brand. This one retails for around $48, you know, plus shipping. Just add shipping to it. How much is it? How many fragrances am I getting, you know, buying from um, the money that I got paid, you know, by AdSense, you know? I don't get any sponsorship or anything. So it's 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 worrying because a lot of us are doing this out of pocket a lot of us are doing this willingly nobody is complaining i am not complaining let me talk for myself i'm not complaining about anything i'm not requesting that anybody sends me any money i'm not requesting that any you know i'm not begging people to send me pr if they send me grateful thank god blessed but if i don't receive I'm still very okay doing this thing. 
I don't know. I, I, if I want to talk, I, would, I just feel like I'm just, you know, repeating myself and talking and talking and talking. But it's so painful when you, you decide to do something and people would find fault at every single thing. I'm not saying I am perfect. I am not. I have never been. A few, you know, um, videos I have made that I would just go back and go like, oh, I wish I didn't do this video that way or, you know, something like that. Because I, I have learned a lot, you know, I've improved. I think I, I, I can see my personal growth as a content creator. I can see my personal growth here. I know, you know, when it comes to learning about fragrances and other things in the past i've said things i'm not proud of you know currently but i mean it's already out there it's too late to say okay you are going to take some videos down and blah blah it's still there and now i give updates about fragrances and things and when i come and say i don't like something which i have bought out of pocket and it's make someone so annoying <laughs> you know it doesn't make any sense to me people are that gullible that they would you know um whatever people say they just take it as bible one other thing i also want to talk about is the fact that you know people will comment under videos not even mine alone you know i've seen people commenting under other people's video but i'm using my video some of my videos as an example with this whole zimaya thing and you know people came under the comments mentioning other creators name that oh this particular creator was the one who popularized this particular fragrance and so she 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 didn't tell us the truth she is this no please i'm not here to promote that on this channel treat me as a joa if you have any issue with any particular creator please go to the person's channel and make a complaint i'm not here to start or spark anything this is going to be a joa loves fragrances and please address everything to me please do address everything to me not to any particular person i don't want to encourage people coming here and dissing other content creators here and this platform is not meant for that i'll not encourage that please do not do that yes i want you to watch my videos i want you to you know like the videos and everything but just because you don't we we don't agree with someone else doesn't mean the person is wrong that is what the person or people are smelling so please let's be respectful about these things because i wouldn't want to see i've seen some before other people in, in my comments i've seen you know sometimes you don't even have to mention names but you go to other people's you know comment section and you see the audience subscribers referring to some particular group of people in a negative way which is not fair i i i i guess for it, it sort of you know breeds i don't know some resentment or something and i wouldn't want to encourage that on this channel at all so please do not make anything personal here address everything all your concerns criticisms even if it is personal address me directly do not attack my personality because nobody here knows nothing about me i've shared nothing personal about me here nobody knows what i do nobody knows where i stay nobody knows how i generate money nobody knows nothing about me on youtube you know it's just a um, few things here and there occasionally i want to share just because i want to share because that is what i want you to know so please let's be respectful about that and you know let's enjoy this as um a fragrance review sharing ideas and being honest with each other okay <sighs> just be honest with me when i'm wrong correct me i'm open to criticism i don't want anything offensive please no personal attack no don't attack anyone on this channel i'm not here to encourage any of that so please that is what I'm, i i want to address today if i ever see this particular person he she whoever it is i'm going to block i'm going to block you i know you are watching today if i see you again under my comments i guess it didn't block you because i want you to watch this video today but after this video i'm blocking you I am blocking you and any other person who becomes disrespectful, attack, you know, personalities and character. And because you are so gullible, you are you want to fall for everything. You don't want to listen to anybody's opinion, subjective opinion. Okay, let me go to the hall here. I have seven fragrances and I'm going to start with the one that I'm... Okay, let me start off with the ones that I got by myself. They are four in number. I think I've, I've already featured a few of them 
on this channel i'm not going to go in depth about them today just to introduce them to you and we'll take it from there i got myself liquid brand from freelance world which is apparently inspired by uh, perfume de mali's altaya a very beautiful floral um vanilla scent very heavy thick rich resonance one i love it you know i really do love this fragrance and i'll give you all the details in subsequent videos the next one that i also got is one from arabiat um arabiat prestige house zuhair luck which is beautiful to me i think after liquid brand this is the um second one that i love the, from the ones that i personally bought this is the one that i love i love this so much it smells very oriental it's a middle eastern vanilla with an animalic touch with some um dark rum it says dark rum and then apple and the apple here is delicious and spicy you know it feels like a, a candied apple but you know infused with some middle eastern spices very beautiful so all the details i'll give you about the hair lux lack l-a-k z-u-h-u-r-l-a-k from arabiat very beautiful i wouldn't say blind by this you know blind by this if only you love my you know sense taste you know you sort of agree with me on things i normally gravitate towards this is beautiful the next one here is one i i i, I did um um you know one of these videos i've been doing introducing new fragrances to you i never knew this artisan perfume line from freelance world had other flankers i never knew except for the other one the most popular one that is um duping hibiscus mahajad you know that is the only one i knew until i did some research and got to know there are two other flankers and i was excited about this because of the wine notes it says it has the notes of wine and i don't think i have any fragrance with the notes of wine so i decided to go for this which has the red wine and this is beautiful it's like a wine musky powdery fragrance it is quite complicated yet also very simple and all the details will be coming very soon and the last fragrance i got out of pocket is going to be one i am almost out of you know this thing is almost it's off it's off you know i'm almost out of this and i have an, a video to do some few explanation and give you some details here and this is diwani beirut from fragrance world which is reportedly inspired by this is hair by zadik and voltaire very beautiful simple you know musky floral fragrance woody musky fragrance you know so i'll bring you the details i think it's going to be the next video i upload you know after this particular one because there is something quite interesting i want to discuss about this particular fragrance with you l'oreal sent me some mugler fragrances three of them i've seen other creators you know exhibiting the same fragrances and i'm super happy that I, i'm able to be part of this community that mugler sent um, fragrances to and they sent me three of the alien fragrances including the og alien here which i already have a flank i have the edt but this is the um the heavy jasmine that we know that sultry deep dark sexy alien that we know but this is the reformulated bottle which is not as intense i have never smelled the og alien so i wouldn't know how it smells but people say it is more intense this however it's not any child's play it is still strong it lasts you very sultry sexy grown woman you know sexy matured vibes queen vibes that is what that is what it gives me it's a very beautiful jasmine scent heavy you know jasmine indolic as people will say quite dirty very sexy sultry i love the scent you know profile i even have a deep of it you know that goes to show how much i love this you know and i would like to say thank you to l'oreal because as a content creator who focuses on middle eastern fragrances i wasn't expecting this from them you know i wasn't really expecting this from any um designer brand per se if anything at all i was expecting to get or i've been expecting to get some packages from middle eastern or you know those brands but this is the first one i'm getting and i'm 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 grateful you know it's like it goes to show that they are not discriminating against anyone you know as a content creator probably if they feel your content is good and they want to work with you then they, they they work with you so at least for that alone for that alone i appreciate l'oreal mugler you know specifically for doing this and i'm i'm so happy to get this one in my collection 
the next one that they sent is the, going to be the latest flanker, which is the hyper sense, which is the more candied one, which smells much more sweeter, much more of a, a daytime wearable one. Although to me, I don't discriminate. I wear anything at any time, you know, including the heavy EDP. I don't discriminate at all. But this is the hyper sense with the much more candied um, pear. I think it has some pear and some mandarin orange. Very beautiful it's the same alien you no know, dna but um more citrusy you know more um fruity very beautiful so if the edp is like a little too heavy for you i would highly recommend that you check the hypersense which is a very beautiful rendition of the of the original um edp and the last one that they sent is one I, don't, I have never owned a bottle of this, you know. This is the Alien Goddess Intense with the jasmine and the coconut, a very creamy one. I'm not a fan of a lot of coconut fragrances. Honestly, coconut, if you look into my collection, you realize coconut is one of the few um, dominant things. Note, I have a lot of fragrances, you know. I, I, I don't have a lot of fragrances with a heavy note of coconut, probably because... I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of coconut fragrance, but this one, because of that heavy, you know, jasmine, which I love, it doesn't give it like a very heavy suntan lotion vibes, just like that, you know. It is not like raw coconut. It's it's more boxed with that jasmine, that you know, still alien DNA, which I love. So this one is like an exception to me when it comes to coconut fragrances just because of the heavy jasmine this one is sort of infused with very beautiful i'm happy to have this in my collection and i'll bring you a lot of you know details about some of these fragrances as we move along so i think that is all i have for you today you know and i hope I hope you bear with me when it comes to my channel i'm still growing i'm still young it's just been two years i'm open to criticisms i'm open to learning from people i watch people i watch people that i want to be like you know I, genuine people genuine people that have been on youtube when it comes to fragrances for years for years like and i want to be like them quiet on the low no no you know no had no controversy you know no controversy around them nothing around them nobody talks shit about them nobody she is very respected. There is this particular woman that has been on YouTube for about six or seven years now. You know, um, Allen from Delicious Delight. And that is what I aspire to be. You know, in her zone, minding her business and still thriving. Still thriving here on YouTube after six years. She's still thriving. Very little, no, nothing, no controversy at all. Nobody knows nothing about her. Her channel is still very successful. She's minding her business, doing her own thing. And that is what I want to be. I don't want to put my business out there. I don't want people to get personal with me, you know. And if I share, I share. If I don't, I don't. If I receive PR, you know, like God bless you. If I don't, the, still, the channel is still going to survive. Trust me, it is still going to survive. Because I don't need to tell you what I do to survive. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not doing anything immoral. I'm not doing any of that. I buy my fragrances out of pocket. Nobody sponsors me. You know, I receive money here and there, but not like um, from any brand. Nobody, no. It doesn't, it, it doesn't work that way. So if people feel like, okay, this is my bread and butter, so I need to deceive people. This is not my bread and butter. I don't need to deceive anyone to make some commission, what, whatever it is. I don't need to. So please bear with me. Let's grow this. I need your support as always. I do need your support, you know, as always. Because what is a channel without, you know, the audience? I do need your support. But if you come on here and you are disrespectful, I'm equally going to, you know, be disrespectful to you in the best way I can, you know, approach it. So please, let's be a little respectful towards each other, especially when it comes to opinions. Just opinions, you know, and nothing but opinions. And that is going to be it for today. And I hope this video found you well. So please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next one. Take care. Bye-bye.